Hello everyone, welcome to Anime No Me, and thank you for joining us for another One Piece video. In the world of One Piece, there have been multiple different great ideas created by fans and floated around the community. And some of these, over time, proved to be more and more correct. So in today's video, we're going to talk about an incredible idea that Crocodile was a woman in the past, in addition to presenting the points that indicate that this speculation is in fact true. But before we dive into the video, if you're new to the channel, or even if you've watched a bunch of our videos, we'd be absolutely honored if you'd leave us a like. And even subscribe and maybe leaves a comment letting us know what you thought of the video. It really helps us out, especially with that old YouTube algorithm, and it keeps motivating us to make more content. And if you'd like to help out the channel in a bigger way, consider sharing this video or another one of your favorites with a friend. But without further ado, let's get into the video. So my friends, within the vast universe of One Piece, there are multiple characters with mysterious pasts and hidden secrets. And one of the most intriguing characters is Crocodile. During Impel Down, Emporio Ivankov, one of the more eccentric characters in the series, was revealed to have known Crocodile since their early days as a rookie pirate. These statements made by Ivan Cobb arouse curiosity and have started a series of intrigues and different ideas about the past of the famous ex-warlord, a hidden past where Crocodile apparently feels some very major discomfort when they brought up. Emporia Von Kov is a revolutionary known for their abilities with the Horu Horu no Mi fruit, which allows them to manipulate hormones and different body chemicals. And during his interaction with Crocodile in Impel Down, Ivan Kov issues an intriguing threat, implying that he knows a secret about Crocodile by taunting him and repeatedly calling him Croco Boy. These cryptic conversations between these two characters have fired fans' imaginations and led to a fascinating idea about Crocodile's true identity. According to this speculation, Crocodile could have originally been female, and this is long before receiving the male hormones from Ivankov's fruit ability. And this idea has gained momentum because Ivankov is able to manipulate the hormones and change people's appearance as well as their biological gender. It's believed that Crocodile may have sought out Ivankov's help in undergoing this transformation, perhaps as a part of a plan to assume a new identity and achieve their goals as a pirate. This idea has been bolstered by the fact that Ivankov constantly refers to Crocodile as Crocoboy during the events of Marineford as well as those of Impel Down. And these quirky choice of words suggest an intimate and provocative knowledge of Crocodile's past. And it seems Ivankov is really enjoying the threat of exposing this secret in a very mocking manner, as if he's aware of Crocodile's true nature and taking the opportunity to taunt him and hold it over him. Now, the mystery surrounding Crocodile's past is just one of the many captivating plots presented in One Piece, and this saga continues to surprise fans with exciting twists and intriguing revelations. So regardless of what Crocodile's secret turns out to be, as well as their true identity, fans will continue to speculate and debate over the matter, fueling the enduring fascination that Ichiro Oda's work holds for them. Now, within the passionate community of One Piece fans, there have been many intriguing ideas that emerge that have sought to unravel the true identity of Luffy's mother, protagonist of the series. And one of the most surprising and discussed guesses involves the possibility of Crocodile. This speculation that's been created by One Piece fans has gained strength due to two main factors that led to the development of the idea and the question. The first factor would be the absence of prior information about Luffy's mother and the subtle indications that Crocodile could have been a woman. The idea that Crocodile could be Luffy's mother was based on the existing gap in Luffy's history, where there are very few details about his mother and we've really never seen a picture of her. So this lack of revelations about the mother figure of the protagonist left room for a lot of speculation and conjecture, especially on the part of some of our more avid fans. Starting at that premise, some subtle clues related to Crocodile's past led the community to formulate different ideas about the possible connection between these two characters, mainly due to the fact that they already had a past of kind of dislike during the Alabasta arc. Now, one of the main suspicions of One Piece fans that Crocodile could be Luffy's mother was related to the idea that he could have originally been a woman before undergoing a transformation. Now, the previously mentioned conundrum surrounding Crocodile's past and the fact that Emporio Ivankov has the ability to alter people's gender through their abilities with their devil fruit further fueled this assumption. So fans have begun to speculate that Crocodile might have sought out Ivankov in search of a physical transformation, thereby abandoning his female identity to become a male and stand out elsewhere in the pirate community. However, this idea started to unravel when promotional frames for One Piece film Red were released, showing a mysterious female figure holding Luffy when he was just a small baby. This image, possibly representing the protagonist's mother, put an end to the speculation that Crocodile was in fact Luffy's mother. With the appearance of this female character, the idea of Crocodile as Luffy's mom lost strength and was quickly discarded by fans. Now, despite this setback, it's still worth mentioning that the possible appearance of Luffy's mother still encourages this idea for some One Piece fans. After all, the face of Luffy's mother is not entirely clear, which allows some fans to still consider this idea that Crocodile could still be Luffy's mom, and it's still a valid idea. As I mentioned earlier, 
this world of One Piece is full of secrets and mysteries, and one of the most enigmatic characters that sparks intriguing ideas is Crocodile. But with some new events in the manga, again, this idea about the possibility of Crocodile having been a woman has re-entered the chat and the debate. You see, currently in the manga, there's now a younger version of Crocodile known as S-Croc or Seraphim Crocodile. And this Seraphim has a much more androgynous appearance, making it quite difficult to distinguish whether this young version is male or female. This design choice by Ichiro Oda, our author of One Piece, suggests that he might be harboring a secret about Crocodile to use at a crucial moment in the plot. And it's for this reason it makes it difficult to recognize the gender of the younger Crocodile. And this idea that Crocodile Crocodile could have been a woman was actually bolstered a little bit when we saw the appearance of this Seraphim Crocodile, because this is the true appearance even before the possibility of a change in gender. So in this version, Crocodile's appearance is notably more androgynous, with softer facial features and features that don't allow a clear gender identification. I mean, these are obviously children, but the S-Snake version, the Boa Hancock one, definitely looks like a girl, while the younger Mihawk version, or even Jinbei version, still still play out a bit more masculine. So this visual ambiguity has fueled further speculation among fans, leading them to believe that Crocodile might have actually gone through a gender transformation in the past. So many are arguing that Oda's choice to represent Crocodile in this way was absolutely intentional in order to hide their true identity and keep a secret about the past. After all, the series has already featured other characters with hidden identities and surprising twists, so it wouldn't be unusual for Crocodile to have their own complex backstory to be revealed in due course. Now, Oda is absolutely known for his ability to develop complex and unpredictable narratives, and he has the gift of creating intriguing characters, as well as keeping secrets well hidden until the moment he wants to reveal them. And the choice of Seraphim Crocodile's androgynous design might have been a deliberate strategy to keep fans curious and instigate more ideas and speculation about Crocodile's true identity. Now, in addition, throughout the history of One Piece, we've already seen cases of characters who have undergone physical transformations and identity changes. Important of Anka, for example, has hormone manipulation skills that can alter people's appearance and gender. And this connection between Ivankov and Crocodile that we mentioned earlier further intensifies the possibility that Crocodile sought that help with this gender switch. Another quick example that was more recent as well is during Law's fight with Blackbeard's crew, where Doc Q puts an illness on Law and turns him female. So these are just two of many different possibilities that could exist within the world where someone's gender could be changed, whether by by choice or by some other twist of fate. But in all fairness, it's still important to remember that so far, there's no official confirmation about the idea that Crocodile was ever female. The available information and fan speculation are based on visual cues and very subtle hints presented in our story. So as we wait for a possible reveal in the future, it's fascinating to watch fans delve further and deeper into the world of One Piece, debating various ideas and sharing their thoughts on characters' hidden secrets and motives and even their backstories. This interaction between fans and and creators is a very special part of the experience following this story of One Piece, and it allows each person to create their own version of the story and keep interest alive even between chapter releases or even long breaks like we're in right now. If nothing else, One Piece is an epic narrative spanning vast arcs and very complex characters, and the plot has been full of twists and surprises, and the journey of Luffy and his companions is a constant source of excitement as well as adventure. Therefore, regardless of how the crocodile ideas turn out, the fans' passion for One Piece is going to continue to inspire further speculation and ideas, heated discussions, and the desire to unlock the deepest secrets of this vast universe created by Ichiro Oda. So as we wait for these new revelations and story developments, it's important to keep an open mind and explore these different possibilities. Crocodile's true identity may remain a mystery for now, but that doesn't stop fans from coming up with their own ideas and speculating on different ideas. After all, the journey of Luffy and his allies is far from over, and there are many surprises in store and have to remain for us one Piece fans as the story goes along to its end. So we might have an even bigger turnaround than we're expecting, and Oda might take us in a direction we never thought was possible of going, but now that we're going there, we absolutely love it. So with all that said, my friends, we'd now love to know what you think about it. What do you think on this idea of Crocodile having been a female? And what do you think about the possibility of this woman having been Luffy's mother? Now there are moments, I will fully admit, moments during the Alabasta arc, and even during Marineford, where there's almost a recognition or an actual deeper feeling between Crocodile and Luffy that really didn't just come about strictly during the Alabasta arc, almost like they had some kind of history. Now, whether Crocodile knew Dragon, and this is kind of 
uh, the son inheriting some of the father's issues, or even if he'd had run-ins with Garp, it's really no telling. But there did seem to be something going on in Crocodile's mind once they realized who Luffy was. So what's your take on it? We'd love to know what you think in the comments below. So as we wrap up our video today, we'd like to thank you all so much for watching, especially those of you who've made it here to the very end. Be sure to comment on any themes or ideas that you'd like to see in future videos. And also, since you made it this far, give us a like and hit that subscribe button before you head out to take on the rest of your day. I look forward to seeing you all in our next video. Let's keep sailing this giant sea together. Take care.